Hi everyone, and welcome to today's edition of the Leadership Docs Dose of Leadership. Today what I want to talk to you guys about is the concept of cultivating relationships. And this is something that we identified in Lead Me Out to the Ball Game as one of the 10 bases of Major League Leadership. It's something I talk about in relation to Major League Leadership and just leadership in general all the time. And, and it really comes down to a basic principle. If we want our people to work their hardest for us, we have to make them want to work their hardest for us, not just have to. You know, a line I use all the time is if your people are coming to work just for a paycheck, they're going to work just hard enough to keep getting that paycheck and not lose their job. That's not enough, right? Think about the people who you work with in your organization. The ones who are most successful, the ones who do their best work are the ones who actually feel good about what they're doing. And one of the ways to make them feel good about what they're doing is by having a relationship with them. Now, I'm not talking about spending an hour talking with them every day about you know, what's going on in their personal life. What I'm talking about is having strategic communication with them, letting them know that you care about them, letting all the people who work with you and for you know that you're there for them if they need any help with anything, and making sure that they're all aware of how to communicate with you so that they can be most successful because in turn, then you're most successful. The key to any relationship is communication. And, and if you don't have a relationship with the people who are working for you, they're not going to feel open and comfortable enough to come to you with problems, which we want them to do. But just as importantly, they're not going to feel comfortable coming to you with ideas they have. And, you know, I, when I go into an organization to consult with them or I, I, you know, talk to people with coaching them, I always have the idea. I go in with this preconceived notion that they have the right people working there. Because if the wrong people are working there, that's a whole other, a whole other issue we got to deal with. But if the right people are working there, we want to make sure we're capitalizing on everything they bring to the table. That's another leadership talk we'll do another time about knowing your people. But for this idea, right, the relationships concept, we assume the right people are working for us and working with us. If that's the case, we want to have a relationship with them because we want them to share all the great ideas, all the great insights they're going to bring to the table. Because remember, they're the right people for the job. If they're the right people for the job, let's use them, let's get the most out of them, and let's give them the most potential for being satisfied and happy in the organization. And one of the ways we do that is today's dose of leadership, we need to cultivate relationships with them. So I hope you'll go out and start developing those relationships with the people in your organization. Again, strategic, use your time wisely, but make sure they know that you're there for them and make sure they know that you care about them as an individual. So thanks for listening and keep leading.